Estela Perez Somariba is the NCAA Division I Women's Singles Champion. What a moment for the Hurricane teammates and friends, family that came to watch her today. You know, Wes, this is our 125th show. Yeah, it is. And the very first time, to my knowledge, that we've gone women's tennis. I think that's right. I think this is correct. Well, why not go with the champ? Estella, good morning. Come on, star. She there? Good morning. Ah. No, 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 no. Como esta? <laughs> Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Thank you very De much for having me this morning. De nada. <laughs> Oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> Estella, easy with him. It's You never know what you're getting here. Uh, it's great to have you with us. Uh, congratulations on the championship, obviously, a year ago. But also, congratulations on last Saturday night in Delray Beach. That had to be an amazing experience to to play in a, in a professional event, huh? Yes, that was just such a cool experience. Um, sometimes I thought that I was in a movie, in a dream. Mm. Um, I had never played in front of that many people, so it was just amazing. And I think I, I learned a lot from that. And, you know, just playing against Coco, um, that, was just, that was just great. Estella, for, forget this a second. Let's get to some real business. All right. Oh, I don't know that. Now, these are good <laughs> pictures. You got all this moment here now. I know. This is big time. I get all this. But let's talk about what you miss the most about Madrid, Spain, which is I've been there. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. I know Miami's mm -hmm. incredibly cool. And there is a little characteristic thing going on there from a like a food and cultural standpoint. But what do you miss the most about Madrid? Oof, that's a tough question. Um, honestly, I would say the food. That's amazing. Um, I'm trying to find something similar here in Miami. They have Cuban food, um, mm -hmm. but honestly, there's no place like home. Um, yeah. Also, I think sometimes, you know, around 8 p.m., just going out with my friends to get some tapas. Um, yeah. That's pretty unique also. But again, Miami is just incredible, and, and I'm just so happy that I've been able to, to experience this. and. The last four years have been just unreal. I bet so. But so you haven't found a great spot for paella in Miami? I'm surprised. Um, Surely no. there's a great spot somewhere. <laughs> I mean, people try to, like, imitate it, you know? Not but, the same. Uh, I know. I know what you're talking about. You know, that's and again, we'll like get, me most mornings with pack. We'll, we'll, we'll get to your tennis. But again, I, you know, I've spent some time in Spain and I love Barcelona. And I just told you during the break that our oldest daughter uh, studied in Sevilla and loved it. And the people there are so great because they just know how to have good times. They understand what life's about and they have mm -hmm. things totally in perspective. And I'm sure, you know, just watching your highlights, I know you love what you're doing. Miami's an incredible place. Again, yes. there are some similarities there. But I've always found that everybody I meet from Spain just loves life. They love people. They want everybody to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think, yeah, I agree. I think we're very welcoming. And, and we appreciate a lot, you know, like having a good time, spending time with our families and and obviously here I have my teammates, my coaches. They are my second family to me. But, but there's no place like home, honestly. Yeah. Estella, I, from a tennis perspective, the, the move to the University of Miami, obviously, for your, for your college career. Uh, I mean, I can look at the national championships, the semis. I mean, you're one of four ACC players in history to uh, be a two-time single semifinalist. I mean, there, there's all sorts of things you've accomplished from a tennis perspective. Um, yes. But what kind of expectations did you have? I mean, you're, I'm sure your expectations were high when you came to Coral Gables. Have you met all those expectations or have you exceeded them? I think I came here as a freshman just knowing that I was going to give my best these four years. Um, I didn't know the system, so I was a little bit... Um, not doubting myself, but I didn't understand how college tennis worked. And I think that once I got here and I understood the culture of the program, um, I think that gave me strength and confidence 
and it, it told me a lot, you know. I, I knew that I could accomplish many things, and not only as a tennis player, but also as a person. And, mm. and you know, it's, it's just been an amazing process. And Paige, my coach, she's been helping me every step of the way, and I'm just super thankful. Well, you're the two-time ACC Player of the Year, certainly a chance to win it for a third time. Uh, ACC mm -hmm. Scholar Athlete of the Year. Uh, 392 in economics. You're the smartest economics student in this show right now. That is not true. That is true. <laughs> that is not yes, true. Yes, she is. She's smarter than you. 392. That's when I had a no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're, you're better than Pac by just a nudge, maybe. Um, I, I'm just fascinated that, you know, here's somebody who's incredibly talented, and you come to a different continent and a different country to take that mm -hmm. next step. And yet, it seems to have been very successful for you. I mean, did you yeah you said you know you were doubting it but it looks like it's worked out perfectly yeah I think I've never thought of expectations of or what people thought about me or you know stuff like that I don't think that that helps um I think it's important to understand the big picture and and just trying to to learn a little bit more each day you know um with each practice with with each meeting uh, with each match, I think you you can take away many things and mm. and and I don't know. It's just it's just been amazing and you know um, results sometimes is come on their own when you work really hard and and I think all these accomplishments are just like a way of 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 seeing all this hard work paid off and I'm just really really happy about that. All right, let's get back to you from a personal standpoint in a second because we know you're a great tennis player. You're hanging out at South Beach with your girlfriends, your buds, whatever the case may be. Who is the most famous person that you have bumped into in Miami? Um, actually, I don't even know. Um, I don't think I've actually met a famous person. Um, I mean, I've seen houses of, you know, Murray, uh, Beckham, um, many celebrities. <laughs> Yeah. But honestly, I've never had the opportunity of meeting them. Um, last week, I practiced with Venus Williams, and wow. that oh. was that was actually the the like such a cool experience. I bet. So, what, how did that come about that you could practice with Venus? How did that all get started? Well, um, it was just like a long story. Um, her coach uh, is a University of Miami alumni, so. Mm -hmm. um, he basically needed somebody to practice with and, 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 and I had some free time, so it was great. And I think uh, she, was, she was so inspiring and she, she gave me some tips um, for the future and I really appreciated that. So, so just for example, because there's a lot of tennis players that are watching our show, believe it or not, what was one tip of somebody who's had so many great accomplishments as you? Give me one tip that you went, you know what, that's a great idea. Well, just give me one. Well, um, I think every tennis player has has to have like a weapon, you know, mm. something that um, really can make a difference and that um, a person can rely on when things get a little bit tight on a match um, or when you start doubting your confidence. I think it's important to have something that you can always rely on and, and that you really trust and that's going to give you a lot of confidence and strength. So let's let's get this straight now. You practiced with Venus Williams last week and then played Coco Golf in Delray Beach. It's a pretty good week, right? I mean, that's that's not a bad run a few days for you, right? Listen, that was just crazy and, and amazing. <laughs> I love it. All right, we do this with every student athlete that appears on the show. Oh, this is gonna be good. And okay, um, if if you say if you say Spanish, I'm gonna come on after you. Yeah, just we're telling, not gonna accept Spanish. Uh, what is the hardest course? that you've taken at the University of Miami? Oof. Okay, I took last, last semester finance. Mm -hmm. I was struggling big time. Um, I was just so confused with the stocks, with the investments. Um, and I don't even know how I got an A at the end. I think um, <laughs> the professor, I think the professor felt sorry for me or um, he, he knew that I was actually giving my best. Um, because that final was cumulative and it lasted three hours. Ooh. And at the end, I was just like, I think I'm going to play tennis. I'm going to stick to it. 
and you know, um, <laughs> I can just leave the, the, the investments and the stocks for, for the future. I got good news for you. If you continue on your career path, because yeah, yeah. you are a great player. Yes, you are. Uh, you will have somebody that will be able Thank to take you. care of all the financial spot. You don't worry about that <laughs> stuff. You just go play. Yep. Uh, but you are some kind of player, and it's cool to have you on. And, um, again, just nothing but continued success. We look forward to watching you uh, just continue to do great stuff. And you were doing awesome. Well, thank you very much. You know, um, when you enjoy what you do and, and you have passion for it, I think it's, it's easy. And, you know, the support system that I have behind me is just incredible. And, and I would never be where I am right now if it wasn't for them. So okay. um, I think... I think it's it's not just about me, but but all the team that um, that is doing a lot of work. And and again, I'm just super grateful. And thank you so much for for having me. Oh. Adios. <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Estella.